so you're trying to find your way to the Mushroom Kingdom, but Mario's all out of bus tickets and you don't have any money. That's kind of crazy because Luigi's over there making a pizza pie in the oven at 479 degrees at 25 minutes. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm back. by Kai. I'm Kai and Taylor back once again taking a look at how to make these cute little mushrooms today in a sprite in any pixel art application really we're just pixel arting mushrooms i don't know i thought it was cute um it's uh timely for me anyway i i want to get this i want to get this going so let's go ahead and the first thing i did here is i have two different layers first layer obviously is is uh, my kind of sketch layer which is essentially just me going ahead and, and blocking in and taking down the shapes that i wanted to create so you can see um, we have obviously a bigger mushroom right here i'm painting red bigger mushroom right here this one right here and then we have like obviously this just big circle and then like a little line down here and then we have one here and obviously we have one there. so super super simple just keep it real super sloppy you know just get the shapes down get what you want to do down you know make sure you know where you want everything to go and how big you want it to be and whatnot then after that i created a new layer i did this off camera just to save some time because it, it doesn't take any i don't need to explain anything i just i'm you know i'm just putting pixels down as you can see you can see here um what i did was let me go ahead and turn this pc back up all I did was just refine what I had. So this is like the super loose sketch. And then I just kind of went in, refined it a little bit. And this kind of, this, this step here is obviously looks like a bigger step than most. Oh, I didn't refine the small one. I didn't, uh, it looks like a bigger step than most, but really what you want to keep in mind here is every single pixel, obviously, like I'll just go ahead and clean this one up on camera real quick. So you guys can see what I did a little bit. You can see, you just, you kind of want things to be a little, you know, a little rounded off, you know, maybe something like, uh, something like this, put a little gap there, maybe. Um, and depending on which pixels you decide to take away, as you see, if I, if I was to take away this one, there'd be less pixels here. If I was to take away that one this way, there's like a little L here, which is kind of cool if you want like that, but there's, you know, sometimes you don't want that, you know, maybe you want to leave this hard edge. Maybe you want to put one there. So it looks more, it looks more rounded. Maybe you want to get rid of this, put, oh, move it straight down like that. Maybe you want to pull this down like that. It looks much better. Um, now with areas like this, it's really, really chunky right in this area. Um, so we can go ahead and either shave some of that away like that, or we can go from the other side and shave a little bit of that away, which I think looks a little bit better. Move this back by one pixel. Um, we can either get rid of these two and make it a little bigger like that, or we can make it a little straighter and have it like that, which looks strange to me. So let's go ahead and undo that and put it like that. So this is essentially all that I did. I just went through and did some things in, until I finally got to this space right here, which is something that I really like. Um, and then I put a little line here indicating the cap of the mushroom i want to do like a cool different color for that area right there so we'll move that right there perfection uh, maybe we'll get rid of that yeah this piece yeah um maybe we'll move this down by one yeah we'll do like this boom 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 perfection nice sweet so um can we no that's good okay so that, that's basically all that we need to do there this little piece right there is too harsh yeah, okay, that's good. I like that. That's nice. Sweet. So once that once that's all done, obviously we have the groundwork done. Now we need to go ahead and put the color in, which is uh, my favorite part to do, honestly. Actually, let me, what does it look like? Nah, too straight. All right, cool. We need to do the base color now. So let's go ahead and we can do a different layer, but I won't. That's that's silly. Um, let's go ahead and um, grab a nice little red color here. Um, you don't want to do too saturated because if you do, it'll start looking like, oops like this which does not look good at all that's like pixel art from 1984 so desaturate that a little bit by dragging it to the left um and then just dragging it down a little bit to add a little bit of darker color in there and then go ahead and fill that in um something about like that we hit a little i think it's hit f, f to fill so obviously this is way better of a color way softer way easier to look at if you want to get a little bit more of a red harshest color harshest harshest er -ness, color go ahead and drag this more to the pinkish side here instead of to the orange and then maybe add a little bit more saturation something like that looks good looks better there we go i like that better nice with that done we'll go ahead and drop this color down to like a grayish yellow tone for the stem or the stalk or whatever you want to call it uh, we need to we need to put some red on there on on the on i drop hit i i drop that color hit f hit g nope that's neither one of those is the right thing that i just did there Okay, well, all right, that's for some reason not working. Um, let's just go ahead and go over here to the, it is G. Okay, so it's the G key. There we go. Bucket fill that in there. Nice. Um, so with the under cap part or whatever you want to call it, I'm going to just go ahead and take our base red color and then I'm just going to darken it a bunch, desaturate it a bunch and then just put that right there. Boom. Actually, wait. 
Maybe I want to... I don't think I like it. I don't know. We'll, we'll leave it for now. We'll leave that. That's fine. We'll leave that. We'll leave that. Okay, cool. Um, with that done, we need to go ahead and now put in the secondary base colors. There's going to be like a nice little um, white spot on the caps here. So we just kind of put some of these around... Like those classic mushroom spots. You guys know what I'm getting at, what I'm talking about when I'm laying down here. Um, maybe something like that. There we go. Boom. Oh, oh yeah. I like that. Nice. And then we'll put maybe one here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. There we go. I love it. And then maybe a little tiny one right there in the corner. Oh, that's perfect. I love it. Now, I want to move this up. So hit M to use the box select tool m drag a box over top of that bad that bad boy and then just move it around like that there we go whenever going to be on the same bottom line here or maybe not everything but i want to maybe make the biggest one the furthest one down so let's move both of those up by one pixel maybe move this one up by two actually boom maybe inwards nah there we go that's good i enjoy that maybe inwards one actually yeah <laughs> never mind all right there we go that looks cool um, now we can actually afford to move all of this over one by one technically, but I think it looks fine the way that it is. Maybe. Eh, it's good. It's good. It's good. We'll leave, we'll leave. I'm getting nitpicky now. You don't want to go too overboard because you'll start to change the art in ways you don't want to. So let's go ahead. And with this black line, it's obviously way too dark, way too thick. So let's go ahead and I drop the uh, darker red color here and then we'll just drag it down a little bit, add a little bit more pink to that. And then we shall oop, maybe a little bit too much pink there, actually. There we go. Um, eh, maybe it was better before, actually. Not gonna lie. Um, my mouse is still very not good, guys. So I, I'm having issues here trying to get this color the way I want it to be. My fault. So let's go ahead and um, on all of the pieces that are red, I want to go ahead and actually, you know, we'll do a lighter. We'll do a lighter color, actually. Let's put this to a lighter shade. I'm being silly, actually. Let's go ahead and. Yeah, yeah, there we go for the nice, the nice little outline. There we go. And then for this color, we'll just do like a white. Or, yeah, I don't think I like that. Oh, Lee. Okay, can we get with, get with a darker? With doing like a darker thing here. Oh. Um, maybe we'll see. And then I'll just to see right now. We'll we'll just go ahead and grab a grab this darker mushroom underside cap color, darken a little bit, add a little bit of orange to that, and then we will just on the edge where the cap is kind of going overboard and then on a couple of key places around i don't like that um <laughs> let's go ahead and undo that let's put these back where they belong there we go okay that's good this is looks like kind of pillow shaded a little bit pillow shaded is kind of like when you put too many um, shading pixels in all around the object instead of just in places where you need them to be. So let's go ahead and break this up a little bit and kind of fix this by unpillow shading it, or most of it rather. There we go. Oh, that's good. I do want to define more of a shape here, so let's go ahead and maybe put um, a nice little darker area right there around the center of the... Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, that's good. I like that. Maybe we'll get rid of this piece right here. Okay, that's cool. That's sweet. That's nice. That's good. I like it. Now we'll darken it again one more time. Darken it, drag it down a little bit more orange in there. And we'll do like a cool thing like this. We kind of got these little lines coming out. Oh, that looks sweet. I love that. That's cool. Nice. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, With that done, I do want to go ahead and maybe, maybe we will get rid of all of that shading there. And we'll just leave it the way that it was. That looks pretty fine to me. Honestly, um, I will dra grab this white color here, drag it down a little bit, a little bit more orange in there, and we'll get a nice shading color, a nice shading color for the white up here, like thusly. There we go. Maybe one there. Yeah, there we go. Um, and then we'll do the same thing for the red color. So hit I to I, drop that red color, drop it down, desaturate it, and add a little bit more pink to it. Um, we should have just kept, kept the other color because it was nice, but it's fine. What's done is done. You know what I'm saying? All right, we'll do the same thing for all these. We'll quickly shade 
each and every one of these bad boys. There we go. One there, one there, one there, one there. Nice and lovely. Um, and then we shall grab this white color, shade the white areas I want to put. That, now, I'm not going to put one right here because that's going to make it look too flat and pillowy. Also, I kind of want to make it look like it's rounded and it kind of looks like this area right here is a little bit more round. So I won't put one there. I'm kind of trying to define a shape. If you haven't noticed, that's what all this shading and all this other stuff is kind of for. I'm trying to tr kind of try to shade these areas that we need more detail in to kind of get a different shape out of them. So let's go ahead and um, put one maybe, put one maybe there, perhaps potentially. I've done the thing, whatever, whatever this button is, I've done it again, and it's so annoying. I don't. <laughs> I can't remember what the button is. There's a button that kind of messes things up when you click around, as you can see here. When I, what we've done is we've, oops, is we've kind of hit whatever that... I'm hitting all the wrong buttons now. I've hit whatever that bu that button is, and it's extremely annoying, as you can or cannot maybe be able to tell. If we create a new layer, does that fix that? I've, I've looked into this and see what this button is, actually. It is. It's still doing it. Mm, interesting. I'll be back, guys. I'll be it's right back. I need to figure this out. All right, so I figured out what it is. It was that simple. <laughs> All right, so I've accidentally hit shift and S, which turns on uh, grid snapping mode only. So I was only able to draw on the grid, which is why when I did it, it, it drew like like this. And it's super weird on the grid like that. Um, if I hit F, shift S again, it will undo the grid so I can paint anywhere. So if, that's, if that ever has tri tripped you up before, then that is what you do. Hit shift S on accident. You can only draw on the grid. Super weird, I know. So hit shift S again or go up to, um, where is it at? View grid snap to grid turn that off right there so that's that that's a little quick quick tip for you hope you enjoyed that but that's good let's go ahead and get back to the task at hand ladies and gentlemen um shading these bad boys let's go ahead and grab the uh, is this color lighter it is, it is lighter Ooh, that's strange um okay let's grab a, a slightly dark slightly darker color for this right here the, the the stalk or whatever you want to call it drag it down a little bit to the left here add a little bit more orange anytime you want something to be warmer which is like shadows you always want to go to the left of the hue saturation slider if you want something to be like colder and darker then always go to the right um there we go so that is easily an easier way to kind of make an example out of that but we'll shade some of these areas right here looking good oh Maybe something like that, I guess. Yeah, sure. You got to keep in mind the direction of the sun. I'm trying to make it appear as if it's coming from this way. Um, oops, sorry, not that way. This way, sorry. My apologies. So as you can see, we have that, that shading on the um, the mushroom because of the cap above it. And then over here, we have the same thing. This cap is kind of coming down right here and shading this area. So that is uh, basically what I'm trying to convey um, at the moment. So just try to keep in mind the sun's coming from this way. And then obviously there's, there's a lot of shade. There's a lot of light right here in this circle, right, right here, a lot of light there. Um, and then, uh, it's light on this side of the mushroom as well because of the sun. So that's just something to keep in mind. If you were wondering what I wish, how I was deciding to shade what I was shading. So there we go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and maybe darken this color one more time, drag it to the left a little bit, and then we shall maybe do a little bit more in depth shading just for some um just for some detail like we'll do something like this and then we'll put these around it there we go it looks sweet hold the phone it looks cool i love it oh man it's like shading but for no reason whatsoever we're just putting lines down and it looks good holy okay um now with this i'm gonna do the same thing over here so put that one right there put that one right there and I, oh, maybe not that one. Yeah, there we go. Only the one on that. But that, that looks good. I like that. I enjoy that. Um, I might want to go ahead th go through here and put a little, a little red bordery border. Maybe like that. Maybe, maybe something like that. And then we'll kind of do like this. That's good. I like that. That's sweet. Okay. All right. Wait. And then we'll put this there, this there, and this like that okay i enjoy that quite a bit actually there we go i like that that's sweet um is that regular color there no a darker uh, okay it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine if we keep doing this we can do this all literally all day but there you go so that is um that i think other than the outlines we are basically done here so let's go ahead and let's let's merge these down because those are accidentally accidentally two different layers let's let's eye drop the darkest color that we have for the red Drop it down a lot, a lot. Add some pink, 
And not that much pink. Oh, man. All right. That's better slightly, but not enough. <laughs> okay, that's fine. We'll just go ahead and darken um, all of the edges here of the or of orange. What am I? What? What can I see? Um, I'm going to go ahead and just dark darken all the colors of the red here. And we shall um, be able to... Wait, why is that? Okay, I fixed it. There we go. Um, darken all the colors that's touching a red portion. So we wouldn't color this in because this is this is like white. This little piece right here is white. So we're not going to fill that in with the dark red. That would not make any sense whatsoever. So we're not going to do that. We're only going to do on the pieces that are red. So here and there, a little bit of everywhere. Um, and then almost all of this piece is going to be like that there we go cool so now we'll go ahead and we'll do the opposite we'll do the um the white part so we'll just drag this down drag a little bit more orange into that bad boy and then we shall go ahead and get cracking on that I'm gonna be a little bit darker actually there we go something like that perfection and then we'll just go ahead and put all of these all around on any part that is the white dot or spot on the mushroom there we go love to see it i'm actually gonna go ahead and put some Red on that instead. There we go. That looks pretty good. I do like this quite a bit. Now, the next part we're going to do is, is we're going to get a darker color for this darkest color we have, which is this bad boy right here. Drag it down. You get the idea by now. A little bit of orange in there. And then we will go ahead and put this all around any part of the um, stalk or the uh, underside of the mushroom to make it look a little less harsh and maybe just kind of blend in with everything that is going on now with the white color we mixed that we missed that piece there we go so that ladies and gentlemen is how i make my little mushrooms now i might actually go ahead and grab the darkest color of this drop it down actually we might as well just no it's not dark enough this one and eh, eh. next shade down there we go that one looks good okay so the okay yeah, yeah yeah okay so that looks good that's good I just it just looked a little bit too dark for what we were looking at there for a second um there we go okay okay that's, that's fine that's fine maybe we'll do uh, nah i like that little line there i think maybe not as dark though maybe maybe just like uh maybe like that maybe we'll, oh maybe we'll blend it we'll do something like this maybe i kind of see where that could be cool Maybe something like that. Okay, wait. Uh, I think we're on something. I, I like that quite a bit. That's that's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. Okay. Um, and then maybe we'll extend some of the pieces out like that. No, 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 no. All right. Maybe we need a good, a little bit of a good in between. I will add a secondary color just to just to lighten those up just a little bit because it is quite harsh. There we go. And we'll we'll kind of maybe fade some of this other stuff as well. Um, like that. There we go. All right, and then maybe we'll put some little bit of a darker area. Now it's okay to go a little bit more, um, obviously rough with this, with these colors and the shading, because it's a mushroom and it's kind of outside and it's kind of like the nature of it. I feel like sometimes. So I think that's pretty fine the way that it is. That it, those are our mushrooms. Adorable. I love it. Absolutely love these. These came out um, exactly how I wanted them to. So let's go ahead and add a layer beneath this real quick. Layer three, and then we'll just create a nice little, quick little grass backy for this. Oh, that's a little too dark. A quick little grass backy for this. Um, something like that, I suppose. We'll drop it down. Add a little bit of blue because I want this. Because uh, green goes into blue very nicely. Or the other way around, rather. And then we'll just do something like that. Boom. Too easy, my friend. Too easy, too easy. All right. Um, okay. Something like that. There you go. That's that's basically all that I have for you uh, today. Hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it. Look at these adorable little mushrooms. Absolutely adorable. Um, can we do like a like can we do like a sky actually too? Like, what's going on here? Can we get away with this? Oh, that looks kind of cool. Wait. Okay, and then we'll do, maybe do like some grass. I'm going overboard now, but I'm enjoying myself. Shh. Don't don't say anything. Alright. But that's gonna that is, that is gonna be it this time, actually. I, I cannot cannot afford to continue this tutorial. I will see you, ladies and gentlemen. In the next one, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to let me know down below as always. Um, but yeah, that's our mushrooms. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.